In 2010, Galileo senior running back Quincy Nelson took the Academic Athletic Association by storm. <laughs> In just seven games, he had a staggering 1,231 yards and 16 touchdowns, and was on pace to challenge several league records. Then, in a moment, it fell apart. So the first the play that happened, I got the handoff, and it was already too late to make a move. Usually I see people coming, and I'm able to, you know, to motivate or, like, you know, navigate through, through the tackles, but he was already there, so I already knew what was happening. And he hit my knee, and I felt it, but I didn't even go down at that tackle. It hit my knee, and I kept running about 10 yards that same play. And I went back to the huddle, and I told my teammates, my knee hurt. <laughs> and they was all like, go out the game. And I looked at them crazy like, once you don't come out the game, I'm not coming out the game injured or not. If I can walk, I'm playing. Mm. So next play, I got another 20-yard game. And after that, I broke a 60-yarder for a touchdown. So I thought it wasn't that serious, but I definitely I definitely felt the, felt the extension when it, when it hit me. When Nelson injured his medial collateral ligament against Marshall on October 22nd, the Lions were undefeated in AAA play, outscoring opponents by an average of 27 points. But without their standout runner, they lost three of the final four games and exited the league playoffs in the first round to eventual champion Washington. It's always a what if, and what if I was out there, yeah, what could I do to help the team? And it, and it really hurts when we lose, actually. If we win, it, it's kind of easier to, to turn our team on, but when we lose it, and to think that if I was out there, it could be different, it's, it's kind of hard to sit there and watch the game. Now Nelson's focus will shift to getting him into shape for a potential college career, with minor Division I schools interested in him like Sacramento State, UC Davis, and the University of San Diego. But for Galileo's coaching staff, they will look to replace the face of their program. Like, I'm thinking about it now as he's beginning to leave, you know, like another semester he's gonna graduate, but uh, just, I'm gonna miss seeing him play. You know, we just put together this highlight video and there's some things that, that he does that we, we haven't seen before. You know, we're hoping that another Quincy Nelson come along, you know, and that we wouldn't have to wait too long. Um, the first thing that comes to my mind when you see Quincy Nelson is he is a tremendous athlete and he had vision from day one. Um, you can see that when he's a freshman. He has the best vision I've seen in a high school kid in the city. Um, you can see in his moves and his agility. Um, as he progressed, the thing that really improved was his strength. Um, he got in the weight room last uh, winter and he really, really improved his strength. And we just did his highlight film, and you can really notice that he is always gaining yards after first contact. Um, and that's not, like, there was a few times I told him, okay, you look pretty moving, but please run somebody over and show your strength and get a couple hard yards so they don't want to come in and push you. Even though he only played in eight games out of a possible 13, Nelson led the AAA in rushing yardage and was named the league's back of the year but one can't help but notice the maturity he's gained through the process. To really to really come from it is staying strong. I learned a lot from an injury and how to fight, how to fight through it. Like being in class while, I'm, while that was on my mind, it was hard to focus. I, uh, I bombed a couple of tests and it had a real effect on my whole life. And it's only because I lived, eat, sleep football. So I did a lot of things because of football. I, worked hard in school because of football, I slept early because of football, I ate because of football, so when I didn't have football, a lot of things changed and I was kind of getting off track and my auntie had to talk with me, I had to talk to my doctor, so right now it's really just rebuilding where I started, so getting back on my grades and staying out of trouble, so that's that's where I'm at right now. Really, like, what can I do without football? Mm. It is a reality check because most likely, I'm not gonna make it to the NFL, the chances are slim, so I have to, I, have to, I needed that, actually.